Okay. So, welcome viewers. Welcome to an LP. LP of a game you might have heard of. It is called... Yeah, there we go. The Last uh, of Us. Damn, I was hoping it would be Jack and Daxter. Nope, I'm sorry. Could have been Crash Bandicoot, but I changed my mind. Oh, well. So, I'm Geop, and with me for this is my good buddy... I'm Skippy Granola. So, Skippy, you do not know anything about this game aside from the general rundown of the plot, is that correct? Uh, yeah, I mean, the bare bones kind of thing. Well, I've streamed a bit of this. I'll probably point it out when we're going along, but Skippy's seen a bit of this, not all of it. Also, I'm just screwing around the options right now. I was kind of curious if, uh, language... I was genuinely wondering, wait a second, is there a Japanese voice track? What, uh, for some reason, I wanted to hear what the protagonist would sound like in Japanese. I don't know why. We could hear him in Portuguese, though. I could. Obrigado. <laughs> okay, now, as mentioned in the thread, Survivor? Mm -mm, no. That'd be kind of irritating to watch. So let's go with hard. Not gonna be, um... Well, there's a whole lot of storyline in this one. So, enjoy the talky bits, I suppose. As we explore the world of The Last of Us. Mm-hmm. And a fancy little loading screen I want to leave in, because it looks nice. It's no smoking solid snake, but... Spores! Oh, I hate spores! Tommy, 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 listen to me. He is the contractor... He's the contractor, okay? I can't lose this job. I, I understand. Let's, let's talk about this in the morning, okay? Just, we'll talk about it in the morning. All right, good night. Hey. Scoot. Monday at work, huh? What are you still doing up? It's late. Oh, God, what time is it? It's way past your bedtime. But it's still today. Honey, please not right now. I do not have the energy for this. Here. What's this? Your birthday? <laughs> I'm too dang old to have birthdays. I forgot how old I was. <laughs> so, uh, figured, you know. You like it? Uh, honey, this is... Now, something I commented on that I really liked inside this is they actually got uh, Troy Baker, who I found out afterward is actually from <laughs> Dallas, or at least somewhere in Texas. I believe it's Dallas. Oh, no kidding. So it's actually not a terrible fake forced Texas accent, so I'm very happy with uh, his job in this. Hey, you'd know. There's just all these obnoxious ones that you hear in other games. It's like, mm, mm, no. <laughs> They're all just that, that oil baron from The Simpsons. Yep, pretty much. I'm reminded of Dead Island, where they got um, a bunch of people to do terrible, um, uh, terrible, is that supposed to be Australian accents? I don't know. Oh, who knows, with that train wreck of a game. So, uh, so Joel's daughter here, um, it, it, this guy's name's Joel, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, this thank is our, God. This is our protagonist, Joel. Well, not right there, that's his daughter. Right. She's, um... I mean, she's she's pretty much designed for maximum cuteness, isn't she? Mm-hmm. I'm sure nothing bad's gonna happen. No, no. <laughs> Sarah, honey, I need to get your daddy on the phone. Uh, Uncle Tommy, what, what time is it? I need to talk to your dad now. There's something... Uh, Uncle Tommy? Hello? Something I like, uh, you'll, you'll see inside of a room a bunch of posters and stuff. Like, there's one of Dawn of the Wolf. Which, Which looks like a, an amazing movie. It's actually a uh, Twilight parody. Get out of town. Uh-huh. So you bet you're uh, amending what you were thinking earlier. It doesn't look too cool anymore now, does it? Oof, I don't know. Werewolf romance. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff inside of a room. You can interact with a few of them. 
but in the interest of not wasting too much time, I kind of just do a little bit of a sweep of the perimeter here. <laughs> the bash. <laughs> also like her idling animations. She'll just kind of, you know, hop around in place and yawn and stuff. That's a pretty cute dinosaur. Mm-hmm. No. Oh. oh. That's way more effort than I usually go to in my birthday cards. Yeah, a lot of neat little stuff inside of her room, though. I like it. Hey, she's a guitar player. Far out. Mm -hmm. I just noticed as we were turning, there was something else in the corner. I don't... I'm trying to th th think of what it was. For some reason, I was thinking a flute case, but probably not. Huh, maybe she's in band. Nerd. <laughs> I was in. I was in band. Oh God. I think we all were in band. It's our yeah. shared legacy of nerdishness. Yep. Why do you have the window open? That's just senseless. I'm getting a real gun home vibe here. Yeah, it does kind of have a lot of realistic stuff placed around. Well, let's let's uh, take a look at the newspaper. Mitten spikes, mysterious infection, FDI list, blah, blah, blah. It's adult stuff. Nothing ominous here. Nope. So let's head on Hi. over to Pop's room over here and see what's what. Where the heck are you? It's got a Stairmaster. And it's got towels hanging over it. What was that? Dang! Mm-hmm. Just like in Uncharted games, L3 will snap the camera to an event. It happens a couple times in this first session for some reason. I hit the button, it didn't register, but I kind of pan the camera over to compensate. <laughs> is it uh, is it usually pretty egregious when it does that? Cause... Oh no, it's uh, it'll pop up with a chime. I don't think I missed any of them when I was doing my single player run through. Just, I was screwing up here for some reason. <laughs> what is going on? I like the uh, the subtle shift in her body language too. This this shit gets real. Yeah, that's something else that I like because she you can see she's kind of you know leaning forward a little bit in the posture because well shit's going on. And I did a little sweep around here. I don't think there's anything else we can interact with. Guitar. That's a comfy looking chair. Mm -hmm. There's his phone. Eat, Miss Call. Where the hell are you? Call me on my way. Eh, probably unimportant. Where is he? Sarah, are you okay? Yeah. Did anyone come in here? No, who would come in here? Don't go near the doors. Just, just stand back there. Dad, you're kind of freaking me out. What's going on? It's the Coopers. Something ain't right with them. I, th I think they're sick. What kind of sick? <gasps> Jesus. Jimmy! Dad! Honey, come here, come here. Must have been really mad about them putting their leaves in his yard. <laughs> Borrowed my leaf blower, didn't return it, goddamn you. Bam! HOA is gonna hear about this bullshit. <laughs> You've got to get out of here. Do you understand me? Yeah. Tommy, come on. 
Well, there was a dog barking outside. I could have swore that the dog you hear the dog yelp or something, but when I was playing through this, I was like, huh. You have any idea what's going on out there? I got some notion. Holy shit. You got blood all over you. Hey, man, let's just get out of here. This ain't half the people in Savior lost their minds. Can we just please go? Some sort of parasite or something. You gonna tell me what happened? Later. Hey, sir. How you holding up, honey? I'm fine. Can we hear us on the radio? Yeah, sure. I like how she skitters along with her hands. Yeah. I I like that Tommy doesn't keep his damn eyes on the road. <laughs> I've been down these roads a few times. I know where things are, I think. Friggin' TV driving is what this is. Yeah, I'm trying. It gets a little dizzying because I try to watch stuff as they go by. Yeah, this is a little bit of the, uh, the, the Half Life tram segment. Oh, hey, we're going to San Marcos. Is is it is that a nice place? Sorry. We can't we can't go to Austin though, because Austin's weird. No, you got you got hipster. It gets even it gets even weirder. I I know, I know some folks over in Austin. I I know a few Freegans over there. <laughs> I should say I'm acquainted with the Freegans. Oh my. I I I'd say I know of them. They're friends. This prologue's kind of hitting all the uh, the requisite zombie movie points. Mm-hmm. We're headed to Deerwood. We're fine. See what happened, to San Marcos. We think you're doing. Keep driving. Apparently not. Kid, Joel. So do we. We have room. Hey. Keep driving, Tommy. Stop. Have you seen what I've seen? Ladies and gentlemen, I present Man's Inhumanity to Man. You can't pick, pick up hitchhikers. Ain't you ever see the Texas Chainsaw Massacre? That was in Texas. Ass, grass, or gas. Nobody rides for free. <laughs> <laughs> we'll write that one down. Oh, mercy. And the rest of the video is just us sitting in traffic. Sorry. The first eight hours are really slow. <sighs> I love commuting simulator video games. Oh, good God. She was really interested in that zombie running toward the window. It's really weird seeing uh, this sort of situation from the eyes of a, uh, a GTA motorist. <laughs> we can't stop here, I can't fucking drive through them, Joe. Of course you can drive through them. You'll just get a you'll just get one wanted star. It's no big deal. Yeah, seriously, just hide out in an alley, no worries. Mm -hmm. Daddy? Hey. Hey. Apparently the guys in that car are getting in a slap fight. Okay. A little bit. <laughs> I never understood scratching zombies. I don't know. So, here's something that kind of stood out for some silly reason. There's a floating little shard of glass right there. Hey! Apparently I couldn't unsee magic. that. That's a magic windshield. Oh, man. Joel's gone Kaioken times four. <laughs> well, made a Dragon Ball reference in pretty record time. I think we can wrap this up. You're welcome. Brick! Brick makes its wonderful intro into the game. We'll see more of the Brick. The Brick is uh, is the exact same companion. Brick. My leg hurts. The same Brick just follows Joel through his adventure. Gonna need to mm -hmm. run. Also, at this point, I should mention there is a death reel of sorts I'm gonna try and put wherever appropriate. You'll see a fade right there. That's because there's something you could die right there. It's gonna be at the end of the next episode, though. Because I kind of like how this video ends. It seemed kind of weird just to slap a death reel take at the end. Yeah, especially you put the wacky music over it and it just destroys the impact of this, this world-ending scenario. Yeah, I, I put in some yakety sacks, no worries. It's very original. That's the soundtrack to the end of the world. 
I thought it was just the end of the world as we know it. And I feel fine. Well, it's like they say, it starts with an earthquake. Birds, snakes, and airplanes. Well, we didn't start the fire. I'm just putting that out. <laughs> this is a fun game. Quite a game oh no, not the Armadillo Theater. No! It's just curling up. It's just playing dead. Armadillas do that. Also, it's funny you should mention running into an alley. Oh. <laughs> I like that kick animation. <laughs> Action boot! It looked like he just kind of kicked him with the side of the foot in his ass. Yeah. <laughs> like, hey, stop it! Hustling him along like an unruly hobo. <laughs> That was a hobo, right? I don't think he was a zombie. <laughs> there actually aren't zombies. These are all just disgruntled hobos. Got the, whole, the whole game is the whole game is just a huge misunderstanding. <laughs> the whole game is just some like Republican wet dream. <laughs> uh, I remember this canyon from Alan Wake. Mm-hmm. Which reminds me, the uh, we got to keep an eye out for uh, the Verizon poster. Also, I really like this because you see the light right here. You see the, sh the shadows, the zombies behind us, kind of shining along there. It's okay, baby. We're safe. We're safe. Hey, we need help. Stop! Please. It's my dog. I think her leg is broken. Stop right there! Okay. We're not s sick. Got a couple of civilians on the outer perimeter. Please advise. Eddie, what about Uncle Tommy? We're gonna get you to safety and go back where I am, okay? Sir, there's a little girl. But... Yes, sir. Somebody we've just been through hell. Okay, we just need... Your tax dollars oh, no. at work. Yep. Right to bear arms. Also, I gotta give the actress pointers here. This is... I know, baby, I know. That's pretty painful to listen to even again. Listen to me, I know this hurts. You're gonna be okay, baby, stay with me. Yeah, I... I have... Pick you up. ...things to say about this scene. Come on, baby, please. I know, baby, I know. Which I know some folks didn't like it, but it's the build the... It's the build the whole dynamic. But... Hey. I mean, that's, say some, what you that's will. something for the thread for folks to ramble about for dozens of pages. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, whether please or don't not do they, that, people in the thread. Please don't do that. Please don't. I mean, whether or not they, you know, quote unquote, fridged Sarah in this scene. Uh, this is still fucking. Hey, that's a deep. comic book reference. I get it. That's one of the few references I get. I'm happy. All right. Put that one on ice. <laughs> Too soon. Oh man, Too soon. I feel really, really bad about that. Also, get ready for a very boring music video. Shy kid. Uh, yeah, I mean, this this is almost a requirement in pandemic movies. You know, the quick. <laughs> Quick shot news broadcasts about how the world's going to hell. And then close up black and white shots of uh, mold growing on bread. This is why you don't keep it in the fridge. Calling themselves the fireflies have claimed responsibility for both attacks. Should have kept that next to my daughter. It's all bad. Demonstrations broke out following the execution of six Oh, it's getting all grody. More, more alleged fireflies, so. The, the resistance is led by a bunch of disgruntled Joss Whedon fans. <laughs> we refer to think of ourselves as brown coats. <laughs> Sir. I don't think the mainstream media knows that. <laughs> They're all just a bunch of LARPers. <laughs> Everybody wants to be Mal. Everybody. Oh, yeah. So now, now we're living in uh, in in Skid Row, 
Mm -hmm. This is 20 years later, I'm which coming. is the future. That is a huge jump in time. Mm -hmm. Which I think the years have been pretty kind of, Joel. How was yeah, name? he's he's distinguished and grizzled rather than old. Also, I like the no, I like the no. little little no. physics you see on the on the booze there. There are very few times you actually see liquids in this, and I think it's kind of neat. These little instances they do that. Which actually, I shouldn't say you don't see liquid few times, but it's just little instances like this where they have the water physics. Mm -hmm. I like the refraction. I don't. I don't like the movement so much. It looks a little. I mean, it's still jiggling. She's leaning against it though. Deal went off without a hitch. Enough ration cards to last us a couple of months, easy. You want to explain this? I was on my way back here, and I got jumped by these two assholes, all right? And yeah, they got a few good hits in, but... Look, I managed. You mean that? Are these assholes still with us? <laughs> well, that's funny. Let's find out who they were. Yeah, look, they were a couple of nobodies. They don't matter. What matters is that Robert fucking sent them. Our Robert. He knows that we're after him. He figures he's gonna get us first. Son of a bitch, he's smart. No. He's not smart enough. I know where he's hiding. Like hell you do. Old warehouse in Area 5. In the fridge! How long, though? <laughs> well, I'm it's a refrigerated warehouse. Oh, I can mm -hmm. do that. 